This is Emily's reading nook that I made quite some time back. I absolutely love this space, but realistically, the shelves are super bare. Like, there's not that much going on. So today, I want to make enough books to pack full these shelves. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot to turn on the fairy lights. Not that they're very noticeable in all the lighting, but they're cool. So let's go make a ton of books, and I mean a ton because these bookshelves aren't gonna fill themselves. So I printed out a bunch of mini book covers and these will all be available in the description box below. Check them out and you can get the printable for yourself. But in case you're wondering how I make these printables, I have three different main methods. The easiest and pretty much the best method is just searching on Pinterest book cover printable and then a whole bunch will show up where you can just save the photo and then put them in a document. And I just make them so they're about one and a half inches tall. If I can't find a book I'm looking for on Pinterest, then I'll just go to Google and search up the front, back, and spine, and then kind of put them all together. This is a lot more work, but it does work good as well. And then my last method, which is definitely the most time-consuming method, but if there's a specific book that I want and I have myself, which by the way, look at my amazing bookshelf. If you guys saw my room tour video a long while back, you'll know that this bookshelf has definitely improved since and I have a lot more new books on there. But anyways, I'll steal a book off of the shelf. Okay, I'm sorry, but can we just take a moment to appreciate this hardcover? Oh, oh. That is the best thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Sorry, this is literally just me flexing this book because I need you guys to see this. If you're a crazy book person like me, you'll know that this kind of hardcover is not something you come by very often. Even just look in here. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so I love this book. <laughs> Moving on. And then basically take photos of the front, side, and back, crop it, and make it into a printable. As for the paper that I printed on, I just used this cardstock. I used to use glossy paper, which is what I used in the video where I made my book nook, but it's actually not the ideal method because although it may make the cover look a lot nicer, if you actually want the dolls to use it, it gets beat up really easily. Like this book has scratches all over it, and when I tried to make the doll hold it, I used sticky. What are you doing? I used sticky tack and it just would not rub off. And basically, the glossy just creates a lot more problems, including if I like rub it the ink will transfer really easily onto my fingers. So although it may look better, the glossy definitely has its downsides. So I'm sticking to the regular cardstock. And actually here's a little mini bookshelf I made in early January that I actually keep on my big bookshelf. And basically at the top it says Ava's Books of 2022. And I made a miniature version of every book that I read in 2022. And these were done using just the regular cardstock and they're definitely just a lot better. But like, I'm sorry, just look at this little bookshelf. Like, how fun is this? This is also another fun thing you can do. If you read a lot and you like miniature things, you can make all the books that you read in a year and then put it on your bookshelf. That's what I did and I love this thing so much. And I get so tempted to like steal away the books from this and put it on Emily's bookshelf, but I have to resist. So actually a decent chunk of the books that I made on the printables are actually these books as well. Now, as for actually making the books, I'm actually so excited because I get to use my new craft mat I just got. It's pink on one side and purple on the other. Ah! So yeah, I'm kind of excited about it, to be honest. But basically what I do is using my X-Acto knife and ruler, I cut out a cover of a book and then I very gently score along the spine, making sure I'm not actually going through all the way. And then I can fold where we just cut to actually create the book shape. And I'm gonna quickly place this off to the side and grab some foam board. And I'm gonna cut a piece that'll fit inside the book. And then I'm just gonna glue that in place with my hot glue gun. First gluing down the spine and then the covers. And that's how I make majority of my books. If you want to be more realistic, you could actually fold up little pieces of paper in accordion style like I showed in my book nook video and then it can actually look more realistic and have little pages but this way is just a lot quicker and honestly they just go better on the bookshelf like this as well and so I'm basically going to repeat that process with the rest of these yes this is going to take forever so I'd recommend doing this while you're like watching something or listening to music or keeping yourself entertained because it's quite the process
This took forever. Like, I don't even want to know how many hours I spent making these books, but it's worth it because just look how adorable these are. There were also a couple printables here that I just combined like a whole series together and basically just put a whole bunch of foam board pieces in between. I did this a lot more as well on my book nook video where I made all those books, but it just kind of makes the process a lot quicker and you have a lot more books in one, but all the other ones are separate. I also do want to note that there is a variety of kinds of books here. Some of them are a much more mature, like 18 plus. Some of them are more like for younger people. So this isn't like a recommendations video. Lots of these I just found randomly online. So if you actually want to go about reading some of these, definitely just do your research first. That being said, I have read a lot of these and a lot of these are great, but a lot of them I've never read and some of them are for mature readers. So keep that in mind. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison of how the glossy cover and the not glossy cover looks. I definitely do like the glossy cover more, but then it also comes with all the problems that I mentioned before. So if you're willing to risk those little problems and you're not actually planning on letting the dolls hold them that much, then you might actually want to go with the glossy option. However, I'm going to be using the books a lot and the dolls are going to be holding them. So I just want to be safe and use the regular cardstock. If you're looking through all of my book printables, including the ones from the book nook video, you'll notice I actually made some of the series from my first printable into their own little separate books. For example, the Folk of Air series is my like favorite series ever. So I want to have each of the books separately as well. Now for the fun part, I'm gonna fill all of these shelves with the new books that we just made. So I think first I'm gonna remove everything and then figure out how I'm gonna organize it from there. And I'm actually gonna quickly dust off these shelves because they are nasty to say the least. <sighs> okay, now let's actually fill these shelves. On this bottom shelf here, Unfortunately, lots of the books can't actually fit up straight very well. So I'm just gonna put them all laying down like this. So I had to do quite a bit of rearranging so I was happy with how everything looks, but I think I am finally satisfied and the shelves are all full. Why did that sound like I said awful? Awful. Awful. Before the space just felt a lot more empty and now it just is really full and actually feels like a reading nook. And I did add back lots of little knickknacks around the room as well, just to add a bit more character. I'm curious to know if you guys recognize some of these books here and if you've read any of them. A decent chunk I've actually read myself and I'm gonna point out a few that I absolutely love. This book, The Firekeeper's Daughter, was so good. This book, Lock Every Door by Riley Sager, was a thriller and it was like my first ever thriller and I absolutely loved it. The Folk of Air series, or better known as the Cruel Prince series, is my favorite series of all time ever, so go read it. Okay, although the series gets a lot of hate, I absolutely love the Twilight series. I read this a really long time ago. It was actually one of my first like intense reads that I absolutely loved. So maybe my mind would change if I read it again, but I have such a strong attachment to the Twilight series. Let me know if you guys have read it and if you like it. Either kind of love it or hate it. The Summer I Turned Pretty series was so good and they have a TV show out on Prime Video and I absolutely loved the adaption for it. I feel like this whole video was just a great excuse for me to like get really excited about books because it's like definitely one of my favorite hobbies next to doll stuff. Last thing I'll mention is that I'm currently in the middle of reading this book right now so I can't really recommend it to you yet but so far it's pretty good and yeah it's just so fun having the books that I own in miniature like this. So anyways now that I have this room all filled up I'm hoping that I'll actually put it to more use in my videos especially because I just love the space so much more now. In fact I am extremely jealous of Emily because I literally wish I had this for myself. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below and let me know if you guys have any book recommendations or if you're into reading in general. If you did enjoy today's video, don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you can become part of the hashtag DD squad. I hope you guys had just as much fun as I did because this video was just right in my alley and exactly what I felt like filming this week. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it and I'll see all of you guys in the next one. Bye!